So in this video, we're going to go through some examples of using the trapezium rule, and we're going to try and find estimates, or approximations rather, to each of these integrals uh, with this number of strips. Okay, so let's have a go at number one. The first thing to do is to work out your strip length. So that can be calculated using h equals b minus a, so 4 take away 0 in this case, divided by the number of strips. So in our case, in our first example, h is 1. So that's nice and straightforward. We would then like to set up a table of results, effectively. So the x-ordinates start from 0 and go up in 1s until they hit the final x-ordinate. So what we want to do is to substitute values of x into this y equals. So we're going to get 0 plus 0 over 0 plus 1. So that's just 0. We're also going to get 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. So just 1. Now when we put 2 in, we're going to get 2 squared plus 2 cubed over 2 to the 4 plus 1. So that's 12 seventeenths. Now if we try it with 3, we're going to get 3 squared plus 3 cubed over 3 to the power of 4 plus 1. So that's 18 over 41. And if we try it with 4, we get 4 squared plus 4 cubed over 4 to the power of 4 plus 1. So 80 over 257. So the area is approximately 1 half times h times the first plus the last uh, plus two lots of the rest. So 1 plus 12 seventeenths plus 18 over 41. Close the brackets. So in calculating this, I usually work from that bracket and work my way outwards. So 1 plus 12 over 17 plus 18 over 41. So 1495 over 697. Double that. Add on the 80 over 257. Okay, add on the 0, makes no difference. Times it by 1, times it by a half. So we get... 2.3005487767. So that's 2.3023 sig fig. Once you've got your result, check on your calculator using your integral button that you've got something that is appropriate. So we've got x squared plus x cubed over x to the 4 plus 1 evaluated between 0 and 4, thinking, still thinking, there we are, 2.248, so reasonable, okay, so 2.248 on the calculator, 2.30 by the trapezium rule, okay, so let's have a look at the next one, <clears throat> so number 2, We've got the integral of 1 to 2 of x e to the x cubed dx with five strips. So first thing to work out the strip width. So 2, take away 1, and then divide by 5. OK, so that's 1 fifth, so 0 0.2. Right, table of results, x's and y's. So we're starting at 1. And going up in 0.2s, so 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.8, and then finally 2. OK, so if I substitute in 1, I'm going to get 1 times e to the 1 cubed. So that's just e to the 1. Substitute in 1.2, so... I probably want to try and keep them as exact form. So we're going to get 1.2e 
to the 216 over 125. Okay, now 1.4 cubed, so we've got 1.4 E to the 343 over 125. 1.6 cubed, so 1.6 E to the 512 over 125. And then 1.8 E to the 1.8 cubed, which is 729 over 125. Substituting in 2, we're going to get 2 e to the 8. OK, so there's the y ordinates. So the area will be approximately 1 half times h times by the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. So 1.2 e to the 216 over 125, 1.4 e to the 343 over 125, uh, 1.6 e to the 512 over 2, uh, 125, uh, plus 1.8 e to the 729 over 125. Now, if you've used um, type them into your calculator and you use like, decimal approximations to it, as long as you're using a reasonable degree of accuracy for this, you should be all right. So, 1.2 times e to the 216 over 125, okay, plus 1.4 times e to the 1.4 cubed, you could just use that really, plus 1.6 times e to the 1.6 cubed, plus 1.8 times e to the 1.8 cubed. So that gets me 738.555. I need to double it. I need to add on 2 times e to the 8. I need to add on e, e to the 1. I need to times it by 0 0.2, and I need to halve it. So that gets me 744.1744524. So 744 to 3 sig fig. Once again, you're going to want to check that your answer is reasonable. So x e to the x cubed, evaluated between 1 and 2, 521.93. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that my answer is wrong, okay? It really depends on uh, the shape of the curve, okay? Whether I've got an overestimate or an underestimate. Now, I know that x e to the x cubed will increase very, very quickly, okay? So, this is a very steep curve. If you think about it, we're going to get the trapeziums going over the top of the curve, and so we would be expecting an overestimate, okay? Um, so, you can, in the, and in this case, we're a couple of hundred out. OK, so it wasn't a particularly good approximation, was that one. OK, let's have a look at number three. Last one. Right, the integral between 1 and 3 of uh, the square root of e to the x sine x in three strips. So first of all, the width of the strip. So we've got 3, take away 1 divided by the number of strips, so that's two-thirds. So, table of results. So starting off from one, so one is three-thirds, so the next one will be five-thirds. Add on another three, uh, add on another two-thirds, sorry. Okay, you're gonna get uh, seven-thirds. 
and then add on another two thirds, you can get nine thirds, which is the three. So we've got uh, four y ordinates to find. So substituting in one, remember you've got to be in radians here. We've got sine involved. So we've got the square root of e sine one. Okay, then we've got the square root of e to the 5 thirds sine 5 thirds. Then we've got the square root of e to the 7 thirds sine 7 thirds. And then we've got the square root of e cubed sine of 3. Okay, so the area will be approximately one half times h times by the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. Like that, okay? So, let's work our way from the inner bracket outwards. So, square root of e to the 5 thirds times sine of 5 thirds. I've just noticed I'm in degrees. Quickly change that. So, angle unit uh, radians. Okay, let's try that again. Square root of e to the 5 thirds times sine of 5 thirds and then add on the square root of e to the 7 thirds times sine of 7 thirds. So that gets us 5.026. Double it. Add on these two terms. So add on the square root of e to the 3 times sine of 3. And then add on the square root of e to the 1 times sine of 1. So it gets to be 13.248 times by two thirds times by half. So that gets me 4.4162452211, which is 4.42 to 3 sig fig. So then let's see how close this is. So using the integral button, square root of e to the x, sine x, evaluated between 1 and 3. And we get 4.622, which is actually pretty close to what we've got there. Okay, So that is how we can use the trapezium rule with a given number of strips.